Just saying it and putting it out there. You're you're literally just not going to believe the amount of stuff that's been done. And then yeah, bathroom's been ripped out. Can you walk the garden for us now? That's kind of vibey. I told everyone about my rats. Yep. My vagina just recoiled. Good morning, everybody. Let me know if you want me to um drop the hair routine. Yeah, not a problem, Vinny. It is. 5 a.m. This is the time we get up every morning. Oh wow, look how beautiful that is. Oh, look lovely. Beautiful. We're just on our morning walk, aren't we, boys? Franco, want to wave to your fans? Yeah, we've got into a bit of a habit, but basically, I think when he wakes up when the birds wake up, and then he just like outside my door, and I've just caved and sort of thought, oh, I may as well get up and walk them as early as possible because then it's done. Then come on, Mr. Monster Head. That's a gorgeous boy. Come here, come here. So yeah, we get up very early every morning. And we just get out. And it's, I do love it to be fair. The only thing I will do is like on a weekend where I feel like, oh my God, I just need five, is I just whack Vinny on the bed and then that means that he'll stop crying for a bit. It's honestly like having a, uh, a disobedient child that I've caved in for and not trained properly. We get up, we get out, and we start the day like this every day. And I've realized that I haven't done like a home chill vlog for a while. There's been a lot of traveling, a lot of glamour, and I thought, I'm craving a rough and ready, you know? And I feel like I know these are your favorite kind of vlogs too. And I'm also gonna take you up to the house today. I'm gonna show you the progress there. I actually have to be at the house between half past eight and half past 12 today, because I have the gas man coming to move the gas box or something i'm not entirely sure what he's there for but there are no builders in the house today it's just this gas guy coming maybe for that reason so yeah i have to be up there at between half eight and half twelve gonna give you some updates i think my tile sample should have arrived so we can look at those together and yeah then we're just gonna have a nice home chilled day db's gonna come and meet me at the house Where's Franco gone? I've been doing these like little Renault videos on Instagram. <laughs> so we're gonna film a couple more of those, like a couple more updates. And I use my little mic that comes with this camera and I, I think it's gone to my head. Come on, sweet boy. And then I think this evening we might be going to my nan's cause my auntie's down and she's cooking lasagna. So we might do that for dinner. I've got, I got a bit of tidying to do. I was meant to have done, Went to have tidied my office yesterday and I didn't get around to it and I went to bed feeling guilty like oh god I've got so much done today but I've not got enough done. It's not good, it's not good a space to be in really is it? Like let's just be proud of what we did achieve. This is this is really beautiful, I'm enjoying this a lot. This however, not so much. Bills and I finished filming um, season one of Spill on Tuesday. And I have my hair curly and I, it's been curly ever since I'm kind of enjoying it so I think I might just do that again today it's also so much quicker especially in the summer because when the sun's out it dries it so much faster I have such an obscene amount of washing to do like it's really built up and I feel like I can't get on top of it so the part of me was thinking like maybe I should put a wash on and then I can take the washing up to the house and dry it on the line whilst I'm just sat there doing nothing I say nothing I'm gonna take my laptop and um, do some editing on the I keep calling it a balcony it's not a balcony but do some editing on the decking so we're just going to have a nice a nice chilled catch up day I'm going to catch you up on all the different things, all the moving parts but I've missed you, I've missed just chatting shit to you to be honest the itinerary's been a bit packed for the last three weeks girls and boys I tell you, you know how much of a home bird I am and I think I was grateful beyond belief, blessed memories made for life but I was grateful to get back home and just to be in my own, in my own space with my boys. Do you know what? I just need to accept about myself that I function better in the morning than I ever will of an evening. So going to bed yesterday feeling a little bit like disheartened that I hadn't got everything done was a silly move because I have woken up at... I actually woke up at 20 to 5 this morning, which is probably a little bit silly. Obviously I've walked the dogs, I came home and then did the tidying that I was beating myself up for last night. Oh, that cloud's helpful, thank you. Folded the washing and then I just looked at the clock and it was like 
Benny, what are you crying for? Just looked at the clock and it was 10 to 7. I told the boy's dad that I'd be dropping them to him at just after 7. So I was like, oh, I've got time to put a bit of makeup on. All right. Win-win. I've just used the By Terry CC Serum in the shade Sunny Flash, which is so good. And then I'm using the NARS Tinted Moisturiser in the shade Sydney, I think. Yeah, Sydney. Medium 1.2. Fun fact, when I very first started with um, affiliate links, which was, when was that? 2020. This NARS moisturiser was the first thing that I put as an affiliate link. I think I had like over 1,000 clicks on this affiliate link, but I don't, I only had like 3,000 followers. Oh God, I thought I'd won an Oscar pretty much. Talking of affiliate links, I know I always link stuff down below, although sometimes I do um, miss a couple of things. Apologies for that, I'm trying to get better. I have had a call with the um, LTK team and I'm actually gonna be, well, by this point it should be set up, have a shop set up on LTK. So it's basically a one-stop place for you to shop all of the links, all of the things that I mentioned. And when I say all of the things, I'm talking from chili oil to a Mila washing machine to a makeup product. So I will leave the link to my LTK shop down below and it would mean a great deal if you could just follow that because I get so many questions asking for specific links and I'm, I'm not able to like remember where every link is placed and put. Whereas at least with my LTK shop, I will be able to say one link and then it will be categorized. So there might be like a food section, a makeup section, a clothes section, fashion, whatever. And then you can go from there. Please make sure you check that out and I will continuously post the things that I mention and I will categorize it and make it as easy as possible to follow along. This is the beauty pie. I actually like, you know, when you accidentally find something in your makeup bag that you forgot about, that is what this has been for me. It's the beauty pie everyday great concealer. And I just totally forgot how much I loved it. Saw it in my bag the other week and I've been using it ever since, but remembering like, oh, it's bloody gorgeous, isn't it? I'm doing very light makeup today. I wasn't gonna be wearing any at all, but I just thought a little something might be nice. How nice is that base? Again, I am so happy with my skin since using Dermatica, which has made a massive difference. I feel like I'm getting back on top of things, you know? It's felt like such a stint of self-care neglect. Being able to just feel a bit more confident in my skin, enjoy seeing it with makeup again, etc., etc., making a big difference. I swear the boys know when I'm like getting ready to go out of the house. I feel like they just vibe. The fact that I'm like getting ready to go somewhere means they're probably going somewhere too. The only reason I'm dropping them off to their dad is because I've got to be up at the house from half eight to half 12. And then I don't know what time he's gonna come and how long that's gonna take. So I thought I'll just drop them there, which would be easier. And then if it is longer, I'm not gonna be panicking that the dogs have been left on their own too long. And just out of like, cause I know some people will be curious, I will happily leave them for absolute maximum is five hours. Like they 100% have to have been walked by that time, which is, you know, 99% of the time the case because they get walked first thing. But yeah, most of the time they're just left for a couple of hours and any longer than that, I'll make sure that they're looked after. I think what I'd like to do when I move is find somebody who can, who like I trust, who can come to the house, let the boys out, take them for a walk or, you know, cuddle with them for a bit. So that on those days when I'm going to London, it doesn't feel as stressful for me and for them to like uproot them. I'd love to be able to just sort of like, I leave the house of a morning, come back, they've been looked after, but then like we have the evening together. That's what I kind of want to get to. So I just need to find someone. Maybe I should start looking because guys, I am predicting that I'm going to be in that house by mid to end of July. I'm just saying it, I'm putting it out there. I might speak to Jack and he'd be like, you're off your head. But at the pace things are going and the big things are being delivered. Uh, week after next, I'm getting my doors, and big, my, my big like sliding doors and front door, back door. And then week after that, the kitchen comes. And they're like the huge, they're, they're like the big things. I think the bathroom stuff will be arriving end of next week. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's another four weeks in it. Right, that's all I'm doing. I put the By Terry CC Serum on, NARS Tinted Moisturiser, the Beauty Pie Concealer, Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder, a bit of refri- 
a bit of refry, a bit of refry bronzer, refry blusher, Clarins lip oil, and Charlotte Tilbury foxy brown lip liner. Do you want to see my stunning outfit of the day? <laughs> I've got my um, Adenola leggings on that I got from the Nukes trip and just a sloppy J t-shirt. Okay, I just got to the house. The, um, the gas men were actually here early, so I, well, I'm not gonna be here as long as I thought it was gonna be. I cannot believe how much has been done. I've not been here since last week, I think. You know, you're literally just not gonna believe the amount of stuff that's been done. First of all, these are the original floorboards here that have come up. They're like so old school being that thin. <laughs> this part, I can't get over. This was, um, well, the door used to be there and this used to be a wall and that used to be the door to the bathroom. So that's now been blocked up because my ensuite is through there, I'll show you in a minute. This part of the wall has been pushed back and in here, my toilet's been built, which is really exciting. And also now being able to see, now being able to see the wall, I can see how big this room is and it's not as small as I thought it was gonna be. My ensuite door has been knocked out. Everything's like been chased into the wall, so all the electrics and stuff. And that's the wall that, that that's the doorway that's been blocked up back in there. And then yeah, bathroom's been ripped out. I was thinking of selling this on Facebook Marketplace because I thought it might be quite, like maybe worth a bit of money, but uh, I think by the time I've cleaned it up and stuff, it may not be worth it. Should have put a bit more bronzer down my neck, to be honest. This is where my sink's gonna be, my unit there, and um, the toilet. The toilet's staying in that position, but a different toilet. And then I'm having a walk-in shower here with glass brick wall, and the radiator will go there. Nothing's really happened in my bedroom apart from, again, everything's been chased into the walls, all of the sockets. They've put these new sockets in here, so I'll have, like, either side of my bed. And then the kitchen <laughs> has obviously all been knocked through. Part of it's been boarded up, ready to plaster all of the pipes and electricals have been done. You can see there. This is obviously where the island's going here, much bigger. And then this is going to be a doorway like that there. And then you'll go down here. That's gonna be my back door. And then there'll be a door into the garage there. This section here has like blown my mind how much that's opened everything up. And it's, it's crazy. It's crazy seeing your visions come to life and you you kind of picture things in your head especially when i'm st when i've been stood in the space and jack's been marking out like what it's going to look like in your head you kind of you feel the sizes differently so with that cloakroom i felt like the cloakroom was going to be really small uh really thin and then the room would be really really small whereas actually it's really not that bad you can still fit a double bed in there yeah it's just it's crackers, I just, I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe I'm doing it. I can't believe this house is mine. It just, it feels like a dream come true, really. Like this is, this is what I'm gonna wake up to every morning. Like every morning I'm going to wake up and that's gonna be my view. Like what the actual fuck. We are getting new windows here as well because they're all shot. Absolutely everything is covered in dust, but we've got tile samples which have arrived and we're gonna open them together. So these first tiles are from Victoria Plumbing and this is for the bathroom floor. Also tile samples are really not that expensive. This whole order cost me like seven pound or this one cost me five, the other one cost me seven, I think. Okay, okay these are the tiles from Victoria Plumbing but they are tiny, like, those on the floor are gonna be, well, maybe I should have measured them, but that's that's a no for me. Although one thing I do like is how matte they are. I, I didn't think I'd like that that much. Hiya. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Can you open the garage for us now? Yeah, okay, now, now we're talking. I'm confused, is that? Is that like just a sample of what the texture is like? I'm guessing so. And these are the matte ones. But I like that size. The only thing is, I don't know why that grout colour is the same as the back. Or maybe that's them ungrouted. I'll have to ask Jack. And then 
just to entertain the idea, I've ordered these cobalt blue tiles. They are gorgeous, aren't they? I thought we'll see how far the credit card will stretch and then maybe I'll tile like half of the toilet. I think that's just a colour sample, but this is the size sample. But I mean, that's kind of vibey. Right. The gas people have almost finished out. Oh no, I feel like I'm getting dodgy looks because there's so much noise going on. Jack did send um, letters out to all the neighbours to say like, sorry, there might be a bit of noise for a few weeks. That's the noisiest I've ever heard. To be honest, I'm not here when they're doing most of the work. So hopefully I'm not pissing any of the neighbours off. Although I did actually meet um, two of my neighbours the other day and they are so cute. I loved them exactly as I imagined them to be, like just from looking in their garden. There's like an, a, a little allotment on one of the sides and then when I put a face to the name I was like yeah no you look like you've got an allotment and I'm sure she's gonna help me grow my own herb garden I just can't wait but I'm actually going to Cardiff now to pick up a mirror that I found on Facebook marketplace to go in the ensuite Shelby George sent me an inspo picture which I'll put on the screen here and that's what we're trying to recreate or use as inspiration rather than fully recreate and this mirror is only 30 pounds I'm not like 100% sure on it yet but for 30 quid, you can't really go wrong. And then at least I can decide when I've got it. I'm just waiting for him to send me the address. Look who I've got with me. Oh yeah. Right, we've had a bit of a turn of events, okay? No, come on. No, come on. Basically, I got back from getting my Facebook Marketplace mirror, which by the way, has got a crack in it, but he just put it straight in the boot and I didn't think to check it. So that was good from me. And I came back to a neighbour note from my new favourite neighbour saying, please can you come and see me, blah, blah, blah. I can't get the words out enough because it's making me, my teeth hurt. <laughs> but basically, there's a load of rats in my garden because the garden is so long and he's seen four running across the deck and they're eating his strawberries, which also pisses me off because I wanted to eat those strawberries and I said about that earlier. <laughs> I like, I did think that they'd be the sort of people that would drop off like broad beans and shit. Oh, they 100% will. Can't wait. Only if you keep the garden short though. Yeah, so um, I've ordered two huge wrap boxes and pellets that are coming tomorrow. You're going to have to wrap, yeah. evict it, and then we've got to strim the garden. But I've been so scared, I've been itchy because I think there's rats everywhere. Touching me, rats are touching me. Rats are touching me, rats are touching me. Hey, come so on, I've not seen you all week. Oh, am I? Did so you miss me? Yeah. I'm really hungry. Yeah, me too. We're going now, fucking hell. We're going to go to our favourite little um, sandwich shop. Called... So we're not going to Newport Marketplace then? No, I'm, I can't relax. What is it you can't relax about? Um, leaving Zeus's. What, my dog that's been living on the streets for six years and probably used to eat rats for breakfast? He probably prefers your house now than he would when he's been here. <laughs> now, nah, come on, let's just get a sandwich because you'll cry the whole time, otherwise. Yeah, I did tell her I was coming as well. Okay. It's called Fresh Start in Cali and it's so cute and I love it there. We did have a lovely, what did we have? Uh, I had just, toast. Yeah? I just, it was just Marmite and toast. Literally. It wasn't just Marmite and toast, it was banging. Marmite toast, I had a cappuccino, we had a bite of a brownie. Yeah. It's Friday as well, so we could share a brownie, couldn't we? Yeah, no, we can. No, because it was a really like, it was it was a very filling brownie, so I'd share Oh yeah, by the way, if you start watching him shed a stone every time he comes on the vlog, that's because he's decided to change his diet and lifestyle and lose his weight quicker than you can say lose weight, which is the, the most irritating thing. Can I just show you my really lovely note from the neighbor? I folded it up and screwed it up because I was so nervous and anxious. I really love them. They are so nice, aren't they? So nice. You've got such a lovely handwriting. I know. Saw the house as well, it's beautiful. Yeah, I bet. Hi Sasha, can you please pop over and see me? Isn't that so cute? I can feel things around my feet. I'm not <laughs> joking, I'm not <laughs> joking. Not. You know, I know, but I can feel them. I'm imagining it. Come on, let's calm down, man. Oh, I need some petrol. No, what a surprise. <laughs> right, this is our that new is, favorite place. That is, that is large. So this is like in a village near where I've just moved to. And we found this place by actually a lady DMing me called Joe. Joe, if you're watching. And she was like, oh, you have to come to my coffee shop. So we came, the, sorry, I thought my phone was ringing. So we came the other day for a coffee and it was delicious. And now we're gonna have to work our way through the menu. Yep. I've gone for a pastrami bagel. Uh, we'll oh yeah, bro. I've got a New York deli bagel. 
And I got the New York Deli baguette. Unfortunately, I don't know how I feel about pre-grated cheese, but... Oh, yeah. I... Do you know what? For the first time, I'm looking at a baguette thinking, ooh, that's going to be... That's, that's a bit of a challenge, that. Do you have to eat that, is it? Look at that! One, um... One week of not eating like a, what do you call it, Mr. Piggy. Listen, you've got to direct your anger and bitterness somewhere else. It's just not cool. I'm sorry I've been to the gym every single day and eaten well. Don't make a mess in my car, okay? <laughs> this is delicious. But yeah, the pre-grated cheese is um the only thing stopping from it being a 10 out of 10. No, do you know what? This is 100% a 10 out of 10. Maybe, I'd actually probably prefer it without the cheese. I it is it. so lush, isn't it? Mm. And I just love them in there. Staff are lovely, aren't they? You know what I love about it? It's so, like, old school to have, like, a cafe like that, just, like, busy. How many people came in whilst we were waiting for our sandwich? Five customers? Well, the guy behind us, didn't he? He said he comes in every day, two meals a day. Who said that? The guy behind us. No way. He comes in, he gets it, so he must get his breakfast and his lunch. It is it is very much a local's mm. little spot, isn't it? I just love it. Everyone in Wales is so much friendlier than England. I don't even know how that's possible, because it's only like... I'm literally bang on half an hour from Cardiff, half an hour from Bristol. This is so delicious. I told everyone about my rats. Yep. Your army of rats that live under your house. Are you going to wear protection? <laughs> I'm too much of a child for you to be saying things like well, that to me. Well, I must be rubbing off because as soon as I finish the sentence, I giggle. <laughs> Give me my drink, please, sir. Right. Of course. Beautiful lady. Do you reckon rats have been on the top of there? Oh, this is going to be my whole weekend, isn't it? Yup. <laughs> Do you know how scared I am of rats? Yeah, I'm aware. What, what's better than a cafe that stock Rio? Rio light as well. That's a god tier pop drink, that is. I want to sing that song from Annie. I think I'm gonna like it here. Mm. Well, I don't think that's the right words for the right tune. The words are right. Um. Beefy crisps, longhorn beef crisps. Oh. Mm. Mm. They're delicious. This is such a lovely lunch, isn't it? It's delicious. I mean, obviously, in an ideal world, we'd go and take it back back out of the deck in, but are oh, you fuck catching me out there until I've got proof there's not a rat inside? You'll be moving out in a month now. I thought about selling it. Yeah, uh, I bet you have. Flat. Hey, have you told him I got a job yet? No! No. Let's do an update later. Guys, if you haven't seen already, <laughs> you, know, you know that TikTok <laughs> trend, that couple sticks from me? <laughs> We did it. It's embarrassing. We both look like five-year-old kids. We did have a laugh though, didn't we? Ours are unhinged though. Mm, I've missed you. How are you? Mate, I've missed you this week. Me too. I missed you the most yesterday. Mm. Emotional day yesterday, wasn't it? Uh -huh. I did a QA and a on Instagram last night. And there's two questions that I keep thinking about. One, people asked how long we've been together, and we've been together a year next month, which is fucking crackers. That's mental. That's gone so fast. Ridiculous. And then we also asked if we'd ever do a video talking about how we first met, uh, like what our relationship entailed. And I wrote back, mm, maybe one day, but you'd need to strap in, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. That's a whole podcast series in itself, I reckon. We should do a couple of like podcast esque episodes on the vlog. Yeah. On YouTube. So let us know down below if you'd like that. Hmm. I still think we should give it a little while before we talk about like how we met in the beginning and stuff. Because you were such a prick. Okay. All right. No worries. <laughs> That's long, that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look how nervous you look now. <laughs> nah. Little Miss Love Island over here. <laughs> <laughs> High five, that was good, bro. Yeah, that's right. I tell you what, you're going to carry on calling me bro. I'm going to carry on referring to you as the missus. Oh, fine, that's it. Yeah, that's done that, isn't it? I'll never say it again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need to play that section of Annie because I can't... Like it here. You'd have slapped us, Annie, as a kid. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
strong-minded, obnoxious little twat. <laughs> I almost wish I'd never had them. Really? A bit too much? Absolutely not. Just fully addicted. Oh, okay. I'll probably think about them for the next 365 days. Once I've stopped finishing, once I've stopped finished thinking about my rats. <laughs> not that you've got ADHD at all. <laughs> <laughs> I actually saw a video on how to get diagnosed quite quickly. Got to go via the NHS form. Just send but them all your vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> got to go for an NHS form, but it's like a right to passage or something mm -hmm. like that. And then you put a, a certain company down and it's like a three month wait for a diagnosis. Okay. But my issue is, right, babes, what, um, what, do, we, what do we achieve by knowing what we already know? It will assist in my patients. <laughs> in all seriousness, though, I think there's been enough people who've met you who have ADHD who've gone, oh my God, get diagnosed. Yeah, I do need, I do need to get And it's not a negative. I'm not saying it to be negative. It's going to be a superpower. Well, I think it is a superpower. Look how far you've come in your career. Why are you so nice to me today? We need to spend every week apart. You miss me so much. So... I do try. <laughs> my favourite thing about Bakewell Tart is the cherry. Yeah, you can have that, obviously. <laughs> oh, that's pretty outrageous work, isn't that it? very good. We got stuck in horrendous traffic coming in, didn't we? Wasn't good, but I mean, I got to catch up on your podcast, then. Hi, Sasha. Everyone has been asking to be listened. The cream cleanser is now available in super size. Yeah. Whoa. That's good. That's my big one. Yeah, that's... but that will work. Okay, so what would it do, though? No, oh. off my makeup. Just cleanse my skin. Oh. Happy with that. I put that in my ad last night. Step into the future of fragrance. That's, Six invisible superpowers. That's Charlotte Tilbury's new fragrance, I think. Is new it? perfumes. Is it? Look, can, can we just talk about this packaging, Wind? I always get so excited by the packaging you get sent. That's cool. That That's cool. That is an absolute bit of you, is what that is. The More thing is, sex. That's naughty. Hey, superstars. Welcome to the cuddliest, softest thing you'll ever own. We're on a mission to spread comfort and joy across the world, bringing a whole lot of fun to every product. We know you'll love our Udi. It's one of their, be it's one of their beach ones. Do you want to tell them that what's really funny about this, though? You bought one for your ex? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll cut it out, but that was good. Come on. My vagina just recoiled. Why do you hate these so much? They're so ugly. No, listen. I love them. Udi, I love them. That colour looks nice on you. I love the Udi, Udi that I've got. I love this towel Udi. This is going to be perfect. And also, I packed all my stuff for doing some cold water swimming in Cornwall so I can take this with me. How do you know that's yours? Because I, you did say. Did the thing on the box say David Bryan or Sasha Polari? Said, hey, superstar. I've got the best amount of PR, to, best PR to show you. I could pretend to be a Jedi as well. You ain't ready to see what I've been sent. Oh, whoa. That is right. Isn't they're, that They're a nice colour though. So, does this mean you're officially a Crocs ambassador? Not yet, honey. Yeah, but they sent them to you, haven't they? Yeah. So that's... That is, by far, second to the Miele washing machine. The best thing I've ever been sent. I'm so proud of you. That you, you I career, have made it in life. Your, your career's just hit peak. <laughs> Literally. This car smells it, so bad. It actually smells of shit. <laughs> can you smell it in here? It's the one thing I can smell. Isn't that nice? Oh, those roses are stunning. Shall I, shall I do that thing and I steal, steal you one in the night like the fairy tale? What fairy tale was that? Thumbelina. I loved that film. No, Did you love Thumbelina? There was a fairy tale book I used to read and the man... Right, maestro. The, yeah, the, the prince was in love with the girl and he stole her roses. It... Oh, I'm gonna have to. That's gonna do my editing though. But did you like Thumbelina? Um, it's one of my favourite films when I was a kid. Is that the one with the talking turtle, or is that the Swan Princess? Yeah, the turtle. No, it's not. It's the frogs. <coughs> Thumbelina. She's the little baby, and she's the little tiny one in the flower. Yeah, I think I remember that one. Um, I wonder where that is. We're just going to Nan's now. My auntie's down, and she's making lasagna, which means I ain't got to cook or buy dinner. 
Which is delicious, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, is... I cook or we I cook or we buy dinner. Is Jason coming down as well? No. Oh, oh Uncle Jason. Yeah. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Um, and then we're going to come home and we're going to watch Les Mis tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Like little losers we are. I'm going to cry from start to finish. I'm just letting you aware. You're crying now? Yeah, I will be. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, we're going to watch Les Mis tonight. <coughs> it's kind of exciting that we've got a full weekend together. You haven't got anywhere to go. I've really enjoyed our, our last two weekends. Well, this, well, I would say I've enjoyed this weekend. That hasn't happened yet, but I know it will. But I've enjoyed that we're having these weekends. Yeah, but but last weekend I didn't enjoy it too much because you had so much driving to do and I feel stressed when either one of us has got to drive a lot. There's an hour and a half between us at the moment, <laughs> distance-wise, but when I move it will be an hour and on a good day 50 minutes, right? Yeah. Are you back with Mummy? Excuse me, boys. Yeah. <coughs> so, there's more Vin as he's just been coughing. What's he doing, Franco? Do you want to show everyone your new beds that you got sent? They're from Docker Pet, and you're so lucky, aren't you? Because you love them. Please, come on. You horrible little thing. What do you want? Let me whisper it to you quick. Can you give me a glass of water? <laughs> Everybody got it by now. <laughs> Not so nice, mate. Mm. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't finish the vlog yesterday because, well, there wasn't really anything to tell you. We just watched, um, finished off watching Les Mis, and then went to bed. We were, we were asleep by half ten, I think, yesterday. And then this morning we've done really exciting errands like go to the bank, do a food shop, um unpack the dog food, unpack the food shop and stuff. But what I thought I would do is just quickly to finish off this vlog, show you the lights fittings, the light fittings that I've got for the house. Basically, Dunelm lighting is really doing bits at the moment. Um, my best friend's sister is also renovating her house at the moment, or she, I think she's doing it in like stages because she's living in there. And she posted a photo of this light and I messaged her straight away like, oh my God, I've been scouring Facebook Marketplace for a light like that. And she was like, it's from Dunham. So, oh, thank you. I love you. I love you too. What are you eating? Nothing. Oh God. I honestly crave it. What are you eating? Nothing. What is it? Well, I was pouring your water and then the bag of the fruit mix, it exploded. Yeah. And some of it went on the floor, but I just managed to capture it before it went on the floor and I thought I'd eat it rather than put it back in the bag because I need knowledge. Wow. So yeah, she said that she got it from Amazon and I was like, uh, she said she got it from Dunham and I was like, oh my God. So I've ordered it, not seen what it's like yet in, I, in real life, but when I was doing my light fixture talk through with shelves at the house, she said that she thinks I should buy another two of these lights if they're nice to go in the lounge so i've got lounge lounge hallway and it's like a bit more fluid this light is for the downstairs toilet which shelby george hates but i actually like it so i would love you to give me your opinion and let me know what you think i mean traditionally like it's quite it i guess this could be seen as like a cheap light but i just quite like how simple it is and how bright that's going to be and it's a bit kind of a little bit retro i don't know let me know babe what do you think of this i feel like it's going to work like imagine it with that blue a little bit i just want something minimal but bright what we at? for the for the bathroom for the toilet for the um blue one the blue room okay for the for the commoners toilet yeah yeah <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that'd be fine. I mean, personally, if you go in as bold as a, a bright blue bathroom... You need it simple. Yeah, I would have thought so. Mm. You may as well stay now for this. Well, that's why I'm ask. still here, because I don't want to do it for the first. I already like the shape of it. A big ball. Wow. I love that. How gorgeous is that? Yeah, I really like that. You can't even... You can't even fully see it, but can you imagine how nice that's going to be? Well done, babe. This is from Dunham. I like that. I'm what, kind of want to take it out of the... Has it, does it come with the string? Oh, no. I'm happy with that, though. Yeah, it's really nice. And Shelves reckons I should get two of these for the lounge, too. Oh, to try and keep some kind of consistency, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, nice. 
Hey, you need to tell everyone about your job quickly. Basically, David Bryan has been looking for a job because I don't know. I don't know how much they know actually. If they even knew you used to be in a band. Basically, DB used to be a singer. Well, he still is a singer, technically. I still am a singer. You're still a singer and performer, well, just... actor, all the lot. He was in a I band. Used to sing with a pro covers band. He used to sing with a pro covers band. And basically, his hernia meant that he his last gig was New Year's Eve, and he hasn't been able to work pretty much since because of his um, injury with his hernia. It got so bad, then waiting for the surgery and then his recovery. And then you had, I mean, you were, you've been searching for jobs constantly, haven't you? And you've had, you know. It's been horrendous. I think as well, because I've been self-employed for nearly a decade within the sort of creative industry, trying to then not just apply for anything, whether it's in hospitality, whether it's, you know, an office job or in a factory. It's been really, really hard. And I think, I, th I don't think there are as many jobs down by me at the moment because of well, just the way life is. So it's been, there's been a lot of competition for every position going. But I, I did get a job with EE. Um, and then my surgery came in the week of my intake. And they said that when he got the interview, it was the best telephone interview they'd ever had, didn't they? You do love to brag, don't you? Yeah, but that's something <laughs> no, to be proud really, of. No, EE's is, a massive company, so... Yeah, I sent him a message a month ago, didn't I? And, and I didn't hear anything back, uh, unbeknownst to me. Con Connor, the chap I was messaging, he was on holiday. Um, and uh, yeah, as soon as he got back, he messaged, didn't he, and said, do you want your job? He rang on Friday, didn't he? Yeah. Was it Friday? No, Thursday. It was Thursday, yeah, it was Thursday because I had therapy. High five me. That'll so he will sing again, he will gig again, he 100%. will perform again, and do all of his other bits, but at the moment it's the um, stability that you need, isn't it? I'm still piecing myself back together, I guess. Yeah, yeah I suppose that's a conversation for another vlog, because this lot don't know all of that. No. Got a way to keep them intrigued, fair play. I mean, they could... Stay tuned. Stay tuned, or you could just go and do the stalking and find out for yourself if you go back far enough and piece all the pieces together, hey? Yeah. I'm going to leave it there for today now because it's Saturday afternoon. Not only do I need to edit this vlog, we're going to make... We're... I am going to make us some egg mayo or egg yogurt mix bagels we're going to have for lunch. And then for dinner, we're going to have a finely chopped blue cheese chicken salad kind of inspired by M Nutritionist's latest recipe. I'll leave the link down below so you can go and see it. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for your support. Love you so much. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment down below. Love you forever. Say bye, Franco. Okay, love you, bye.